Today, I want to share something truly empowering with you. We're going to dive into the energy of your bedroom and how it can impact your life. You see, our surroundings hold immense power over our thoughts, emotions, and ultimately our reality. And your bedroom, well, it's like your sanctuary, your sacred space, where you rest, rejuvenate, and recharge. Now, if you find yourself feeling stuck, drained, or maybe even experiencing some negative patterns in your life, it might just be time to take a closer look at what's in your bedroom, because believe it or not, the items you surround yourself with can either uplift or dampen your energy. So, let's get into it. Here are five things in your bedroom that you might want to remove right now because they could be affecting you negatively. All right, let's talk about the first thing on our list, clutter. Now, clutter might not seem like a big deal, but trust me, it can really mess with the energy in your bedroom. Imagine this, clutter is like a big wall blocking all the good vibes from flowing freely in your space. It's like trying to walk through a room filled with obstacles. It just creates chaos and makes it hard to find peace. When your bedroom is cluttered, it's not just about having stuff lying around everywhere. It's about the energy of all that stuff piling up and weighing you down. It can make your mind feel just as cluttered as your space, leaving you feeling overwhelmed and stressed out. So, here's what you can do. Take a moment to declutter your space. Clear out those piles of clothes, stacks of papers, and anything else that doesn't serve you. Trust me, once you start clearing away the clutter, you'll feel like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. As you declutter, you'll create more space in your room for positive energy to flow freely. You'll feel lighter and more at ease, and you'll notice a difference in how you feel when you walk into your bedroom. Now, I know decluttering might seem like a big task, but you don't have to do it all at once. Start small, maybe tackle one area of your room at a time, like your closet or your bedside table. Take it step by step, and before you know it, you'll have a clutter-free space that feels calm and peaceful. And here's the best part. Once you declutter your bedroom, you'll start to notice changes in other areas of your life, too. You'll feel more focused and clear-headed, and you'll have more energy to tackle whatever challenges come your way. Now, let's dive into the second thing on our list, which is all about mirrors facing your bed. Mirrors might seem harmless, but they actually have a lot of power when it comes to the energy in your bedroom. You see, mirrors are like big reflectors. They bounce energy around, and when they're facing your bed, that energy can get all mixed up and create a feeling of restlessness. It's like having a bouncing ball in a small room. It can make you feel a bit uneasy. And here's the thing. When your bed is supposed to be your cozy retreat, having mirrors facing it can disrupt that peaceful vibe and even mess with your sleep. You might find yourself tossing and turning at night, unable to relax properly. So take a look around your bedroom. Do you have any mirrors directly facing your bed? If you do, it might be a good idea to cover them up or move them to a different spot. That way, you can create a sleep sanctuary that's free from any distractions or disturbances. Now, let's talk about the third thing on our list, electronics. You know, those glowing screens that are all around us nowadays. We're talking about TVs, laptops, smartphones, all those gadgets that we love to use but might not realize can affect our sleep and overall well-being. You see, these electronics emit something called electromagnetic fields, which can mess with the natural flow of energy in our bodies. And when our energy is out of whack, it can mess up our sleep patterns, leaving us feeling tired and groggy during the day. That's why it's a good idea to try and keep your bedroom free from electronics if possible. Create a little tech-free zone where you can unwind and disconnect from the digital world. Trust me, your mind and body will thank you for it. 
Now, I know what you might be thinking, but I love watching TV in bed or scrolling through my phone before I go to sleep. And hey, I get it. We're all guilty of spending a little too much time on our devices sometimes. But here's the thing. When we use electronics right before bed, the blue light they emit can actually trick our brains into thinking it's still daytime, making it harder for us to fall asleep. So instead of relying on electronics to help you relax before bed, try some more soothing activities instead. Maybe read a book, listen to some calming music, or do some gentle stretching. Your body will thank you for it, and you'll find it much easier to drift off into a peaceful slumber. Now, let's talk about the fourth thing, which is all about the pictures or paintings you have around your bedroom. Our minds are like sponges when it comes to what we see, and the images we surround ourselves with can have a big impact on how we feel. Think about it. If you have pictures or artwork in your bedroom that make you feel scared, sad, or just plain negative, it can bring down your mood without you even realizing it. It's like having a rainy cloud hovering over your head all the time. So take a moment to look around your bedroom. Are there any pictures or paintings that give you those yucky feelings? Maybe it's a picture of something scary or a painting that reminds you of a sad time. Whatever it is, if it doesn't make you feel good, it might be time to swap it out for something better. Instead, try replacing those negative images with ones that make you feel happy, inspired, and uplifted. Maybe it's a picture of a beautiful sunset or a painting of a peaceful landscape. Whatever it is, choose images that nourish your soul and lift your spirits. When you surround yourself with positive imagery, it's like giving your mind a little boost of happiness every time you look at it. And over time, you'll start to notice that your mood improves and you feel more positive and upbeat overall. Now, let's really dive into the fifth thing we need to look at, which is all about your bed. Your bed is like your cozy nest where you spend a lot of your time especially when you're sleeping. That's why it's super important to make sure it's doing its job of helping you feel good and rested. Imagine this, if your mattress is old and not so comfy anymore, or if your bedding is all worn out and not soft anymore, it can mess up your sleep. And when you don't sleep well, it can leave you feeling tired and not so great during the day. That's why it's worth taking the time to invest in a nice, comfy mattress and some soft, cozy bedding. Think about how amazing it would feel to sink into your bed and feel like you're floating on a fluffy cloud. Be like a big magnet. You know, like the ones that attract metal objects? Well, your personality does the same thing. But instead of attracting metal, it attracts experiences and situations that match how you feel inside. So if you're always shining with love, kindness, and gratitude, it's like you're sending out a signal to the universe saying, hey, send me more good stuff. And guess what? The universe listens. You'll start to notice all sorts of wonderful things coming your way. Unexpected blessings, happy moments, and maybe even a few miracles. But here's the flip side. If you're carrying around a lot of fear, doubt, and resentment, it's like you're sending out a different signal. One that says, keep the good stuff away. And sure enough, that's exactly what happens. You'll find yourself stuck in a cycle of negativity, attracting more of the same into your life. It's like when you're in a bad mood and everything seems to go wrong, Maybe you spill your coffee, stub your toe, and get stuck in traffic on the way to work. It feels like the universe is conspiring against you, right? But really, it's just responding to the energy you're putting out. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. But Louise, I can't control what happens to me. Life is unpredictable. Ah, but here's the secret, my darlings. While you may not always have control over external circumstances, you have complete control over your internal world, your thoughts, 
beliefs, and attitudes. Your personality isn't just something that happened to you because of things that happened before. It's something you choose every single day. Imagine it like this. You wake up each morning and you get to decide what kind of person you want to be. You can choose to carry around all the hurt and pain from the past, replaying old memories like a broken record. Maybe you've been through some tough times, and it's tempting to hold on to those memories and let them define you. But the truth is, you don't have to. Instead, you can choose to let go of the past and focus on the present moment. You can choose to fill your heart with love and acceptance, even for the things that have hurt you in the past. It's not always easy, but it's possible. Think of it like this. Every moment is a new chance to start fresh. You don't have to be defined by your past mistakes or the things that have happened to you. You have the power to choose who you want to be right now in this moment. And here's the thing. When you choose to embrace the present moment with love and acceptance, amazing things start to happen. You start to feel lighter, happier, and more at peace with yourself and the world around you. One of the best things I teach is about something called affirmations. They're like planting little seeds in the garden of your mind. You know, just like how when you plant seeds in soil, they grow into big, strong plants. Well, affirmations are like that, but for your thoughts and beliefs. Imagine your mind is a garden, and affirmations are the seeds you plant. When you say positive things about yourself and your life, it's like watering those seeds. And just like with real plants, if you give them enough water and sunlight, they start to grow big and strong. So when you repeat affirmations like, I am brave, or I am kind, you're helping those positive thoughts take root in your mind. And the more you say them, the stronger they become. But why are affirmations so important? Well, because they help you change the way you think about yourself and your life. You see, sometimes we have these thoughts in our heads that aren't very nice. We might think we're not good enough or that we'll never be successful, but affirmations help us challenge those thoughts and replace them with positive ones. Instead of saying, I can't do this, you can say, I can do anything I set my mind to. It's all about changing your mindset and believing in yourself. And here's the really cool part. When you start to believe in yourself and your abilities, amazing things start to happen. You become more confident, more positive, and more resilient in the face of challenges. Suddenly, those big scary goals you had don't seem so impossible anymore. And speaking of mirrors, my dear ones, the way you see yourself is a reflection of your inner landscape. If you look in the mirror and see flaws and imperfections, it's time to change the script. Start affirming your worthiness, your beauty, your divinity. You are a child of the universe, worthy of all the love and abundance it has to offer. I understand that some of you might find it hard to accept what I'm saying. Maybe you've been told over and over again that you're not good enough or that you don't deserve happiness or love. Those are just words, my friends, old, dusty words that don't belong in your story anymore. You see, sometimes we hear negative things so many times that we start to believe them. It's like a broken record playing in our heads, repeating the same hurtful messages over and over again. But just because we've heard them a lot doesn't mean they're true. Think of it like this. Imagine you have a favorite shirt that you've worn for years. It's been through a lot with you, and it's starting to look a little worn out. Now, imagine someone tells you that you have to keep wearing that shirt forever, even though it doesn't fit you anymore, and it makes you feel uncomfortable. Would you listen to them? Of course not. You'd probably go out and find a new shirt that fits you better and makes you feel good about yourself. Well, the same goes for those old negative stories you've been told. You don't have to keep wearing them if they don't make you feel good. You are worthy. You are lovable. You are deserving of all the good things life has to offer. And no amount of negative words or hurtful experiences can change that. 
You have the power to rewrite your story and create a new narrative, one filled with love, joy, and abundance. It's time to rewrite your story, my dear ones. It's time to reclaim your power and embrace the truth of who you are, a magnificent being of light and love, capable of creating miracles beyond your wildest dreams. So, I invite you to take a moment right now to connect with the power of your personality. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and affirm to yourself, I am worthy, I am deserving, I am love. You are the architect of your reality. With every thought, word, and action, you are shaping the world around you. So choose wisely and remember that the most extraordinary life begins with a simple decision to love yourself unconditionally and to embrace the miraculous journey of being alive. Always remember the power of your personality to create your personal reality and may you shine brightly as the magnificent soul that you are. The magical treasure chest. Inside, there's all sorts of wonderful things waiting to burst out. Happiness, success, and feeling really good about who you are. When we love ourselves unconditionally, it's like we're opening up that treasure chest and letting all those good things flood into our lives. Think about it like this. When you're kind to yourself and treat yourself with love, it's like planting seeds in a garden. Those seeds grow into beautiful flowers that make your whole world brighter. You start to feel happier, more confident, and more at peace with yourself and the world around you. But it's not just about feeling good. It's also about attracting good things into our lives. When we love ourselves, we send out a signal to the universe that says, hey, I'm ready for good things to come my way. And you know what? the universe listens. It starts sending us all sorts of amazing opportunities and blessings because it knows we're open and ready to receive them. And here's the really cool part. When we're filled with love and positivity, it's contagious. It spreads to everyone around us like ripples in a pond. Suddenly, our friends, family, and even strangers start feeling happier and more joyful too. It's like we're creating a ripple effect of love and goodness wherever we go. So how do we tap into this amazing power of love? It starts with simple acts of kindness and self-care. Take a moment each day to do something nice for yourself, whether it's taking a relaxing bath, going for a walk in nature, or simply giving yourself a pep talk in the mirror. Treat yourself with the same love and compassion you would give to your best friend. You see, love is the very fabric of the universe. It's the binding force that holds everything together. When we embrace love, we align ourselves with the infinite wisdom and abundance of the cosmos. Unfortunately, many of us place conditions on our love waiting for external circumstances to change before we fully embrace ourselves. But my dear friends, the time for self-love is now. I believe that our planet is in need of love now more than ever. We are faced with challenges, yes, but these challenges are opportunities for us to open our hearts, to transcend our differences, and to come together in love and unity. We're living in a time where everything around us is changing, both for us individually and globally. It's like we're in the middle of a big dance where everyone has their own special moves. And guess what? We picked this exact time to be here. We chose to join in on all this excitement because we wanted to be part of making things better for ourselves and for the whole world. It's like we signed up for a big adventure, ready to spread love and bring peace to everyone and everything around us. You see, each of us has a role to play in this grand scheme of things. It's like we're all actors in a play, and the script is all about change and transformation. We're not just bystanders watching things happen. We're the ones making them happen. We're the heroes of our own stories, and together, we're creating a brighter future for everyone. So, why did we choose to be here at this moment? 
Well, it's because deep down, we knew we had something special to offer. We wanted to be part of this amazing time of change because we believed in the power of love and peace. We wanted to spread joy and make the world a better place for ourselves and for generations to come. Think about it like this. We're all like pieces of a puzzle, each one unique and important. And when we come together, we create something beautiful and whole. That's what we're doing right now, coming together to create a world filled with love, kindness, and understanding. Once upon a time, we used to think that someone or something outside of ourselves had all the answers. We looked to others to save us, to fix our problems, and to make everything better. But guess what? We've woken up to a big, beautiful truth. The power we've been searching for has been inside of us all along. It's like we've been living in a big, fancy mansion, but we've only been exploring one tiny room. Now we're starting to realize that there's a whole world of possibilities waiting for us if we just step outside that room and explore the rest of the house. We're not just passive observers in this game of life. We're the ones holding the controller. We get to decide how the story unfolds, what adventures we go on, and how we overcome challenges along the way. We're like the architects of our own destiny, designing our lives exactly how we want them to be. It's kind of like being the captain of a ship. We're the ones steering the boat, charting our course, and navigating the waters ahead. Sure, there might be storms and rough seas along the way, but we have the power to steer through them and reach our destination. So, how do we tap into this amazing power within us? It starts with realizing that we are more than just our physical bodies. We're spiritual beings having a human experience with a spark of divinity inside of us that connects us to something greater than ourselves. When we tune into this inner wisdom, we start to see things differently. We realize that we have the power to create our own reality, to manifest our dreams, and to make our wildest fantasies come true. It's like having a magic wand that can turn our thoughts into reality, but with great power comes great responsibility. We have to be mindful of the thoughts we think, the words we speak, and the actions we take, because they all have the power to shape our reality. It's like planting seeds in a garden. If we want to grow beautiful flowers, we have to nourish the soil and tend to the plants with love and care. If you're not willing to love yourself today, then when? Tomorrow? Next year? My dear friends, today is the day to embrace yourself fully, without any expectations or conditions. Let us create a world where love knows no bounds where we can feel the energy of those words pulsating through every cell of your being. Let me share some of my favorite affirmations with you. Affirmations are not just words. They are energetic declarations that shape our reality. As you repeat these affirmations daily, you will begin to notice subtle shifts in your thoughts, feelings, and experiences. Meditation is like a superpower for making yourself feel better. It's a really cool way to calm down your busy thoughts and tune into the quiet wisdom inside of you. When you meditate, you create a peaceful space where you can just be without any distractions or worries. One of the best things about meditation is that it's super easy to do. You don't need any fancy equipment or special skills. All you need is yourself and a quiet place to sit or lie down. You can close your eyes or keep them open, whatever feels most comfortable for you. The idea is to focus on your breath and let go of all the chatter in your mind. It might seem tricky at first, but with a little practice you'll get the hang of it. And trust me, the benefits are totally worth it. When you quiet your mind through meditation, you create space for clarity, insight, 
an inspiration to flow in. It's like turning down the volume on all the noise in your head so you can hear the gentle whispers of your inner voice. And let me tell you, that inner voice is full of wisdom and guidance that can help you navigate through life's ups and downs. But meditation isn't just about receiving guidance from within. It's also about connecting with something greater than yourself. Some people call it the universe. Others call it God or spirit or higher power. Whatever you want to call it, the important thing is that meditation helps you tap into that divine energy and feel connected to something bigger than yourself. And here's the really cool part. When you're connected to that higher power, you become a channel for love, peace, and positivity to flow into the world. It's like you're plugging into a source of infinite wisdom and love, and you can share that energy with everyone around you. Moving your body is really great for making yourself feel good. Whether you're stretching in yoga, grooving to your favorite tunes, or taking a stroll outside, getting up and moving around can lift your mood and make you feel more alive. When you move, your body releases all kinds of good stuff, like endorphins, which are chemicals that make you feel happy and positive. So even if you're feeling a bit down or tired, just a little bit of movement can help perk you right up. Yoga is a super awesome way to move your body and raise your vibration. It's all about stretching, breathing, and finding balance, both physically and mentally. Plus, it's a great way to quiet your mind and tune into your inner self. Even just a few minutes of yoga each day can make a big difference in how you feel. If yoga isn't your thing, that's totally okay. There are lots of other ways to get moving and raise your vibration. Dancing is one of my personal favorites. There's something about moving to the rhythm of music that just feels so good. You don't have to be a professional dancer. Just let loose and have fun with it. Dance like nobody's watching. It's really important to remember to be kind to yourself. That means treating yourself the way you would treat a good friend, with love, understanding, and respect. Taking care of yourself, both inside and out, is called self-care, and it's super important for your well-being. So, how do you practice self-love and self-care? Well, it's all about doing things that make you feel happy, healthy, and good about yourself. Just like you would take care of a plant by watering it and giving it sunlight, you need to take care of yourself too. Start by doing things that bring you joy and make you feel good. Maybe that means spending time with loved ones, playing your favorite game, or going for a walk in nature. Whatever it is, make sure it's something that makes you smile and fills your heart with happiness. Taking care of your body is also really important. That means eating nutritious foods, getting enough sleep, and staying active. When you fuel your body with healthy food and give it the rest and exercise it needs, you'll feel stronger, more energized, and ready to take on the world. But self-care isn't just about taking care of your body. It's also about taking care of your mind and soul. That might mean practicing mindfulness or meditation to calm your mind and reduce stress. It could also mean spending time doing things that make you feel creative or inspired, like painting, writing, or listening to music. And don't forget to be kind to yourself when things don't go as planned. We all make mistakes and face challenges from time to time, and that's okay. Instead of being hard on yourself, try to show yourself the same compassion and understanding you would show a friend. Remember, you're doing the best you can, and that's something to be proud of. One of the best ways to make yourself feel good is by doing nice things for other people. When we help others without wanting anything back, it makes us feel happy inside. This feeling spreads like ripples in water. It means that when we do something kind, it doesn't just affect that person, it affects lots of other people too. It's like dropping a pebble in a pond and watching the ripples go out in all directions. 
Think about it like this. Imagine you see someone who needs help carrying their groceries and you offer to lend a hand. That person feels grateful, right? But it doesn't stop there. Maybe they go home feeling happier and more positive. Then they might be nicer to their family or friends, spreading that good feeling to them. And who knows, maybe one of those friends then decides to help someone else and the chain of kindness continues. It's like a wave of happiness that keeps growing and spreading. This ripple effect of love and positivity doesn't just stay in one place. It travels far and wide, touching the lives of countless people. And the beautiful thing is, it all starts with a simple act of kindness. When we give from our heart without expecting anything in return, we become part of something bigger than ourselves. We become agents of change, spreading love and positivity wherever we go. And the best part? We get to experience the joy and fulfillment that comes from making a positive difference in the world. Raising your vibration is not just a one-time event. It's a lifelong journey of growth and self-discovery. Embrace each moment with an open heart and a willing spirit. Trust in the wisdom of the universe and know that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. I am a radiant being of light, shining brightly for all the world to see. Repeating this affirmation whenever you need a reminder of your true essence and divine purpose. And always remember, you are loved, you are worthy, and you are enough.